we defined a matrix times a vector to be a linear combination of the columns of the matrix. And that understanding is very important. Having said that, when we actually multiply a matrix and a vector by hand, we usually don't use that definition. We usually multiply rows by the vector component wise and add those together. And we have something similar for a matrix times a matrix tricks. And this is going to be very similar to how we multiply a matrix by a vector. So let's demonstrate it via example. Say we have this matrix times this matrix. The result is going to be a two by two matrix. So we're going to have a number up here. In the first row and the first column. And to get the first row, first column, we'll take the first row here and the first column here. And now we'll multiply and add, just like we did with a matrix times a vector. One times one is one, two times two is four, zero times negative one is zero, one plus four is five. What about here? Well, this is the first row, second column. So we'll look at the first row and the second column, and we'll get zero, two, zero. Add those up to two. Second row, first column, this entry here, we use the second row, first column. Four times one is four, minus two is two, minus three is negative one. Second row, second column. Well, second row, second column, zero, negative one, positive six, five. So here's the product of these two matrices. And again, it, it's not providing a lot of intuition about why we're multiplying matrices this way. But if you're working with small matrices by hand, this is probably the quickest way to take a product. 